You have stolen my heart. Oh, yeah. Please get back my heart. heart, heart. <laughs> I can't live without my heart, 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 heart. Aaron? Yeah? So I bought some shoes from a drug dealer. Why? Because I could. And let me tell you, I don't know what he laced them with, but I have been tripping all day. <laughs> Cooperatives. We're here. We're here. We're beer. No, we're not. You like beer? I Yeah. Sometimes. So get used to it. Welcome back. We're playing Breath of the Wild. Oh. And I hope you fell. Mm -hmm. I fall down. <laughs> oh. Squirrel. Burb. Those are the birds we need to get. Go get those birds. Mm -hmm. And oh. Earth Erection. Can we say that? <laughs> Resurrection. Can we say <laughs> do we have to bleep that out? Nothing happened. Okay. Multiple. I, w I really thought, like, this is such a good idea for the game. Like, the fact that you have to, like, work to get the map. Like, you don't just automatically get it when you visit these places. It's pretty nifty. Mm -hmm. Solid 5 out of 10. What? No, I'm just kidding. I love it. I also like when the... the the statue, when you put your slate on it, the statue pees on it a little bit. Oh, like it's about to do? Yeah. Just a little bit. A little bit of pee. Oh, some splashed on Link. Mm -hmm. That's one of the downsides about being a man. It's like, when you go to the urinal, if you pee too hard, it, it comes back. Can you not control it? I mean, you can a little bit, but, like, sometimes, like, you just got to go, and then you get the splash back. Hang on, Zelda's talking to me. Oh, so now you're all about Zelda. The, the, the game is named after this person. Oh, my gosh. The beast. The beast. When the beast regains its true power. This Mr. Beast? Mr. Beast. <laughs> There's Mr. Beast. There he goes. He's doing a video on how he creates Ganon in real life. Yeah. He's doing a video about... First person to defeat Ganon gets $100,000. Who will achieve it? You must hurry, Link. No. I'm going to take my time and defeat four different beasts before, before I face this beast. Too late. Will it ever be too late, Zelda? It really won't. <laughs> I've been waiting around for five years. Literally. Ganon's waited a hundred years to fight me. I think he can wait just a little while longer. All right. Don't. I don't. Do that. <laughs> I don't have a. <sighs> That's okay. I don't have a paragraph. Your yet. mortal enemy, <laughs> gravity. I could just quit from there. Like that's, this game's hard. That's the second. Um. That's the second G villain in this game. There's Ganon and Gravity. All right. All right. Now, you're not going to do that again. Okay. Oh, down here. There you go. Oop. And left. Oop. Beep. Beep. Oh, my gosh. My dad Beep. had an ex-girlfriend who used to make, like, noises like Beep. that whenever we went over Beep. speed bumps. Did he, what did he just call me? No, like, my dad had a girlfriend, like, whenever we went over a speed bump, she'd go, Pew! Pew! My, my. It would seem we have quite the enigma here. This tower and others just like it have erupted across the land, one after another. That's totally bogus. Continue. Oh, okay. <laughs> Did anything happen up there? I don't trust you. You do not need to conceal the truth from me. 
Truth be told, I saw the whole th- untold. Wait. <laughs> You good? Uh, I saw the whole thing unfold from afar. I just like gaslighting you. Mm. Although I could not hear anything, I did see you react as if you heard something with my eagle eyes. <gasps> Hit the nail on the head, did I? No, there's there's no nails. What are you talking about? <laughs> I assume you caught sight of that atrocious being enshrouding the castle over there. That, my dude, is Calamity Ganon. <laughs> One hundred years ago, that most vile entity brought the kingdom of Hyrule to ruin. It appeared suddenly and destroyed everything in its path. Notice how everything is completely fine. That's just because it stayed in the castle. Continue. Oh, you're not going to... Okay. No, I'm not going to read everything. Well, you got to let me know, like, what you're picking and choosing to read. You'll know. Oh. You know, after the awkward pauses. Right. We love awkward pauses. What? What's happening? Are you marrying him? <laughs> no, like... Okay. You know, I'm... Um, no. Those are the only two options when you're at the, the wedding altar is just, I do or awkwardly stand there. We did that. Awkwardly stood there? Well, yeah, but we also said I do. But, like, how horrible would it feel for the other person to just be, like, looking, like, Gimme. do you take this person to be your lawfully wedded blah blah blah, and then you're, and the other person's just standing across from you just, like, smiling. And then saying nothing. I mean, I cannot think of anything worse. Like, even if they're looking at you lovingly, like, any form of hesitation in that moment. Oh, sorry. Mm. <laughs> my bad. Hey, that's I'm... just like our experience at Costco today. Oh, my gosh. Costco on a Sunday? Absolutely horrid. Like, if you're looking to find a reason to hate people, look no further than Costco. I think I'm, I'm completely convinced that at least on certain days of the week, stores like Costco need to have, like, traffic signs and like rules of the road like split lanes the whole shebang no, stop lights people would not follow it but then they'd get arrested by the costco police costco police yes give me your innards <laughs> but yeah it was our fault anyway because we waited until like the last second to for when we're recording this, it's July 3rd. Give me your stuff. It's July 3rd uh, on the day that we're recording this. So, like, Costco obviously will be closed tomorrow. And it, it was our own fault. We knew it was going to happen. But it's just like... Ugh, the people. When, when it's just so crowded in there. And it's just like... I it's almost just got run over, like, three times. No, here's the thing. You need to be aggressive with your cart when it's like that at Costco and you were not aggressive. Because I don't want to be the person running people over because that sucks. If you... And I know it sucks. Oh, cool. We have the... Expansion. What's in there? A ruby. That's nice. No, a ruby. What? What? I thought you said rupee. No, I said ruby. <laughs> like from the hit show Max and Ruby. I never liked that show. I think it was after our time. I was more of a Maggie and the Ferocious Beast kind of gal. Hamilton. 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 Here comes the general. I don't know why that was the one song from Hamilton that came in my brain when it's not even about Hamilton. No, I meant Hamilton the character. Yes, I know. The pig with, with the H on his shirt. I know I was doing... The H shirt pig. <laughs> <laughs> shirt pig do you think like I, I think that that's like a bold fashion choice just to like walk around and only wear shirts that have the first letter of your name on it mm, I don't know if I could do that and I don't remember what kind of pants he wear, wore but I feel like it was jorts I'm gonna look that up mm, I feel like it was capris 
like blue caprice. I don't know. I'm I'm gonna look up Hamilton ferocious beast. That's that's gonna, gonna bring up. Good. That's definitely gonna bring up some questionable sights. Hamilton Maggie and the ferocious. There beast. There you go. Oh no, they're just pants. They're just like jeans. Wait, what does his feet look like? No, hooves. Yeah, like they're like two little points at the bottom, right? Let me see. It's pink. Oh my gosh, he's so much more frightening than I remember. Put up a picture. Like, look at those eyes. I already did. Oh. He's been here with us all along. Mm. But, uh... Oh my gosh, I discovered a thing. <laughs> oh, this, this one looks really frightening. This is another one I'm gonna put up, hopefully. That... Hamilton looks real angry, and he's wearing a uh, oh, a tank top. He looks like he's about to like kill Maggie. That one. Oh gosh! <laughs> like Hamil Hamilton's pissed. Oh my god! There's some real ridiculous pictures of Hamilton. There's one where he's looking real sad next to a cardboard box. This one, he's dressed as a bee. Do you know what is like, I feel like is like a really weird and common trope in like old TV shows that we used to watch as kids is um, like there was way too frequently an episode where like the main characters needed to go get honey and their plan to get the honey. And, and this is like really non-specific because I feel like it happened a lot. But like they need to get the honey and their plan to get the honey was to to dress up as bees like just be a full size human being or animal character but but like much larger than a bee and their plan was if i put on a shirt with a black stripe on it then the bees will accept me as one of their own and they it's will give me their honey and i I was thinking of that because I found this picture, another one of our wonderful boy Hamilton, dressed up as a bee, walking along with a honey pot. But I feel like I remember other shows that, like probably a Winnie the Pooh. Well, and, I mean, the whole premise of Winnie the Pooh is for him to get honey. And I know this one's not. It's his favorite food. Mm. That that is Pooh's character arc. Mm -hmm. Is just get the honey. Mm -hmm. Receive honey. Eat the honey. Eat the honey. Repeat. Diabetic coma. Repeat. Repeat. Give me the gift. Oh my gosh, this is so long. Please accept the spirit orb. Oh. Oh. Are you okay? <laughs> I came out of him, and now it's in you. He put his bodily excrement inside of excrement? your body. Excrement? <laughs> no. <laughs> May the goddess smile upon you. I am dead now. Yeah, that's one thing I never got. Like, they're just, they've just been waiting here for a hundred years to die once you got there. I guess so. And it's like, if you don't 100% the game, then it's like, okay, I guess I'm just sitting here forever. All right, our first shrine. Woo! -hoo. Too dope. Oh! Look, here's that paraglider I was telling you about. Isn't it sweet? You don't get it yet. It seems you managed to get your Paragon. hands on a spirit orb. Oh. I encourage you to slow down from. Oh, sorry. I forgot you're picking the script. It's all connected to that Sheikah slate that you carry there on your hip. Paraglider. I have not yet finished speaking. You dare to disrespect your bro this way? Long ago, a highly advanced tribe known as the Sheikah inhabited these lands. Continue. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, you, are you ever going to read again? Bring me the treasure. Of each of the shrines, three, and I will give you my paraglider. 
See, this guy, he's gaslighting you. Mm -hmm. He really is. He First, he said, I'm going to give you... Uh, I need that spirit orb. I'll trade you the spirit orb for the paraglider. And you know, I feel like the paraglider is not like that valuable. It's literally, you need it to progress the entire game. Like... There are people who have beat this game without the paraglider. Yeah, but it's insanely more difficult. And I like to have a smooth ride. But it's like... Think about what you trade four spirit orbs for. Heart. Or a heart, stamina. A heart. So, like... You you could either trade four orbs to live literally longer. Literally live longer. Or... You could have his, uh, or you could have a piece of cow skin. <laughs> you wouldn't really know that it's cow. Do we ever see cows in this game? Uh, I think there's bulls, which oh, are you a know flavor what, right. of cow. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <clears throat> have you gotten up this? You've gotten up this tower, right? Oh, right. I'm supposed to, like, fast travel. I completely... Oh. No, well, I mean that—that's a good time for a next time, anyway. All right. All right. We uh, will see you in the next episode, where hopefully we'll get the freaking paraglider. Yep. Bye bye. Bye.